All right, while we wait for the melter to melt everything down, I figured we would play with solar panels here at the base and I'd give you a better once over of how that works. Um, obviously you need capacitors, and so we have two capacitors in the basement of this base. And think of those as um, your batteries for your solar power. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put these down so that those capacitors are filling up. Even though this is still going to be a generator powered base, um, what that'll do is in the case of running out of fuel, the capacitors then will kick in and keep the base powered, which is good because when we were fighting all of the Xurax over there, my base lost power and all of my food rotted. So if we look at <clears throat> my fridge currently, um, this is just the stuff I've picked since then. But if you look at the medical, how much rotted food we have now, like just stacks of it. So it's good to have a backup. So that'll at least try to keep it backed up. So I have here in blocks large 15 solar panels which is the max that you, any one base can take okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and i'm going to choose the sloped solar panel and we need to actually go over to the base first so that we can use the if we go into the end menu now we can say connect to c lab and then that way you have to be touching the base for that to work that way what happens is um your you can place these blocks outside of the base. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna want is a couple of regular steel blocks, because I wanna make sure that this will stack up okay. So I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna run a line here so I can put the that on, on there. So let's just throw one down real quick. What you're looking at here, the green is the maximum efficiency that this guy can give. So one green is not good. The yellow is the current efficiency that he um, is doing. So he can never do better than one, so he's only going to have one. So if we pick him back up real quick, and that's because he's currently facing north. All right, so if we put him back, let will make sure I've got retrieve blocks. If we try and put him back down facing, let's say, this way instead, let's rotate him this way to the south, for example. We place him. Um, not much better. So he's just not getting good efficiency in the north-south. Now, this is affected by placement on the planet. The closer to the equator you are, the better your solar efficiency will be. So something to keep in mind where you're building your base. If you want it to be a solar-powered base, make sure that you're not on the poles like I am. Because you're just not going to get the efficiency you need. Um, so let's face him this way instead. He's now facing to the east. And face to the east, still not good. And I have a, a feeling maybe this has something to do with being underwater. So let's pick him up. And I'll come back and get these blocks later. Let's go back to the garage where originally I was at. So I'm going to run over here real fast. And let's do it out of the water. Let's see if that makes a difference. Because it very well could make a difference. All right, so he's currently faced to the east here. He gets two now. It's not bad. It's a little, little improvement. We may not ever get better than two being this close to the edge of the world here. But let's face him. Let's say here. If we go doop, rotate him this way. Now, now face to the south. He's getting three, so he can get a possibility of three face to the south out of the water. So if we did this, and we did this, let me do my F5 here real quick. That gives me three solar panels up there that are, let's go four, see if we can get one more in. So now I've got four solar panels on the roof here that are getting too efficiency right now with the sun being where it is. And let's see if we go out of F5 here. Uh, this we got nine hours till the sun goes down, so that tells us something. And then we could do more probably. Remember, you can only do 15 max. This one we're going to actually change to flat. 
adapter horizontal. I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. That one looks like it sticks off the side. That's what that is. See how it's got like this adapter here? But if we do this guy... And we rotate him this way. Let's say we place these here and there. That's three with a possibility, and right now we're getting three. So that's really good. Right there. That's even better than those. And see, that's because it's faced directly at the sun. So if we take this one and put it on the opposite side, though, and look at it. See, he's currently only going to get a possibility of one. And he's only getting one, so... Basically, you just want to find the right positioning of your solar panel so that you're getting the most efficiency that you can get. Maximum efficiency is important, but also keep in mind hours of coverage, like how long. It may be when this gets over there, that one on the other side would do better, but your maximum will tell you one way or the other. See, right now these are now pulling three. These are all pulling three now. This is probably the best spot for my solar panels here. And now if we look in the base statistics, we can see that we've already built up four hours and 33 seconds worth of power, depending on what's running in the base, mind you. Current output is 407. Average output is 185. That takes into account night, I think, which is why your average is always going to be low. Um, and then you just want to build that up because then that'll get you through possibly, you know, running out of fuel. That's a thing to keep in mind. So I wonder if we put one. Let's Let's try the underwater thing again real quick just to see. Just to verify. So these are running this way. We flip these around like this. And we put it right here on the side of the garage. Yeah, see, the water uh, the water makes a difference. That's good to know. But I didn't want to do these before we were safe because the drones sure like shooting out solar panels. It's, it's annoying. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get more on the base without it looking too ugly. We may end up just making a, a solar panel tower over here that we can face out, which actually we might do that with wherever we were and start start that and we'll move all these to that. All right, be back shortly. All right, so it took a while, but um, we built our solar farm now. And I basically just put a bunch of these guys I did three, and then I skipped one, and then I did poles, concrete poles, and then I did the thin poles because they connect up with the adapter better. You see the adapter on the bottom of these? And I chose the horizontal with the adapter, and they're now facing that way. And I think when it gets to be a little higher in the sky, when the sun gets up here, they start to get three. You can see the maximum amount they will get is three. Right now they're just getting one, but at their highest they should start pulling in three. So now we have a solar farm at the base too, which should fill my capacitors up. Um, and if we get the capacitors full, we can add more capacitors to it. But I think for now that should do it. And I think I'm going to go over and do something similar over there on that base as well. So that I'm getting the most out of what I can. Alright, everything's been melted and moved over to the crafting components. Um, so let's connect there. And I'm going to pull down... The Zascosium that we have and the Zascosium alloy. And we'll also pull down the Arrestrum. Real quick, I want to look and see what Zascosium alloy is. So if we we're going to make Zascosium alloy, what, what is used in that in that making of? That is Arrestrium and Zascosium. So that should give us a little bit of both. So if we go into our factory here, like this, and we know we need... 332 arrestroom ingots and we need 332 zascosium ingots. Let's go ahead and just feed all of this alloy right in there and see what that gives us. That put us up to 270 each. So that's pretty good because that means that we can now do what? 60 more of each? There's 42 of that. Let's just count this in. I don't feel like counting. I'm just going to click until it's done. There's that, so we've got the restroom handled. Let's go. Screw it. There, we've got extra. There's that. 
We now we need carbon substrate, cobalt, neodymium, and silicon. Let's do those next. So the bridge itself, we need we said one more bridge, right? It looks like we can do that. And then five more of these afterwards, computers being the catch. We should be able to do it though. Let's see. Yeah, this uses... No, I guess they don't use each other. I thought they used each other to make each other, but it doesn't look like it. So, one, two, three, four, five of those. Hopefully we have enough of everything for that. So, this will be a, a bit. I'll bring you guys back when that's done. So, the sheer amount of copper and silicon and stuff alone that I'm going to need to finish these bridges is insane. Because um, it's like a hundred computers or something per bridge. So we're gonna head out to space I'm gonna collect copper and silicon out in what's in the space field and uh, bring that back so Catch you out in space well, Let's get us some loot shall we? All right cargo hold is full we got about 1800 actually we could probably trash that Eh, okay. We could probably get a little more, but there's a lot left on this anyway, so that's good. Let's uh, head back to the planet. So we're taking the cargo sled over here to get this silicon meteorite that fell from space because we could use some more silicon around the base. Alright, and now we just give it this. Just let it run for a little bit and we'll collect all the silicon up that's in this meteorite. All right, so everything's in. We can start production on our gunship. Nice. Looks like our ship is done cooking. Let's go up here and pull it out. <clears throat> I can show you my new battle spaceship here. So if we go into our menu here the rs red specs gunship one is done let's spawn it into the world right here's a good spot i think all right and then uh, i'll show you a good look at it here this is the rs gunship one it is a fully ground pounding battle uh ship it's designed to hit ground targets but it can definitely do some damage to sky targets as well so we have eight count them eight rocket launchers these aren't the homing kind they just shoot straight to their target we got four rail guns and then there's a surprise as well all right we're all fueled up we're all ammoed up we're carrying 1215 mil got 290 rail gun bolts ran out of sathium after that and 500 of these rockets here. And so what we can do is let's reload everything. Reload everything. And then I'm gonna show you the surprise here. So if we take out the weapons. You ready? I have it here on a signal called ground pound. On the bottom side, I've got four auto turrets, so we can just sit on top of something and then just let loose on it. And then when we're not doing it, we put them away. So it's nice and covered. And now, let's go visit our friends, the remaining Xerax that haven't left my planet yet. Alright, we're getting close to enemy territory, so let's go ahead and flip on our shields uh, but let's go ahead and bring out the ground pounder shall we let's roll up on this guy and see what happens yep. alright so there's that cannon get him boys See if we can kill him before he kills us. Oh, nope, okay. Well, we'll go with the second then. All 
right, he's killed. Let's turn that off. Wonder how bad we took damage there. Let's send out the robot and find out, shall we? What'd you do? Anything? Eh, it took a little bit of damage, but it didn't look like I actually lost any blocks. At least. Let's go on the repair. They were definitely trying to take out this thruster. But this thruster is pretty hardcore. 3,200 hit points. Alright, so good to know that the ground pounder is not really good for taking out those cannons. So we'll have to do that ourselves. But we can use the ground pounder for enemy troops and things like that. We can just roll over top of enemies and mess them up. Shield back up. Let's take out one of these, please. wonder if that guy's shielded. He might be shielded. Alright, let's get out of here. We might have to deal with him if he's shielded. Because that seems like he's not taking much damage, doesn't it? Hmm. Virax Outpost. Doesn't seem like he should be shielded. Let's see if we can hit him with one of these, what we get for it. We held him for a full volley of eight rockets. Gotta get within range. Range 169. Range 209. Okay, so we've got to get it within 169 to hit this. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so I don't have to... Yeah, that was... Alright, that one's dead. Reload real quick. him out real quick. And then we can get these little guns. These guys with my rail gun. Like that. Him. That should be it for guns on this thing. Oop. Alright. So he's shut down. Okay. This one's going to be fun. Because he's got like eight cannons on him. There's two, those kind and those kind. So we're going to try and zoom in. <laughs> Zoom out. Make sure you serpentine so that they can't get a good lock on you. And then we're going to go back in. We're just going to take out one corner at a time if we can. Alright, I think I got the, those cannons. Shields are still holding. in for those. Okay, coming back around. Going in again. Alright, that one's out. Don't get to hit me. <laughs> okay, coming back around again. Let's reload. Let's get this corner now. Alright, that's taken out. Coming 
back around again. Corner is down. Let's reload and prepare for the next corner. Strafing run, go. Oop. Can you fly? Be nice if you flow. Blue. Light? Flown? I don't know. Another strafing run and. That one's down. More concerned about those than I am the other ones. The lasers are tough, but those plasma cannons eat shields up, so. Alright, we're gonna come over and we're gonna strafe this other side here. Let me swing around real quick. And after we strafe this side, then we can take out the. It's that corner over there. We're gonna get this way. far away. Alright, is that everything on here? Alright, this defense is harmless now. Alright, so I'm gonna bring this down. Maybe more, bring it down a bit more. this and set it right here like this that way he's somewhat there to defend me let me repair the this guy doesn't look like it needs it actually okay actually you know what we're just gonna take it down and kill it Satisfaction with Krail, unfriendly. Just like that for killing one of them? Really? Well, that's okay. We can't be friends with everybody, right? Okay, let's go finish this job. Let's connect to the ammo. I'm going to keep that on me. And then let's go in and see what we got. the door on this thing. at me. We won't have any problems. Hmm, can't open this door? Bet I can. Bet I can. Bet me. Seriously? Uh, it was close. Can I get it with this? Nope. Okay, well. Dear Lord, that's a tough door. Alright, let's go say hello.
I'm gonna try not to loot in here because I just want to kill the core. We just need to find the core. Eh, there's a gun. There's got to be guns protecting this thing. Come on. Freaking assassins. Oh crap, where? We gotta heal. <sighs> Thank you for your sandwich. guns at. Come on. Super scary. I don't have my heavy armor, so I'm super nervous. There is a spawner right there. There was a spawner right there. I don't know what this does, but go find out. Probably unlocked something. Get rid of that spawner. Weird plant. There's definitely stuff inside there. How do we get in there? Don't read this. I can't read this anyways. Um, how does one get in there? Alright, we've been around the circle already. Is it up here? But it's up here. Hmm, what about this? Again. Does that unlock it? Nope. Okay, well let's do this then. One, two. I did not think about that side of it, did I? Okay, we're going in hot, so let's have full ammo. Can please. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. there is a gun in there, and it wants to shoot me. Ah. Uh. All right, we need to heal. I don't know what's going on there. Something on my mouse, which I used to change hotkeys, is not right. And it keeps switching, like doing the between this and this. So I've got to fix that. I don't know why it does T2. There we go. All you know what it is, because if I click it twice, if you click two, it goes to that bar versus that bar. That's what I'm doing. Let's put a heal up. <sighs> heal to full here. This gun ready so we can take that gun out. One more heal. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Alright, that's done. That's done. Anybody else in here? Not hearing anybody else. Okay. Don't know what that does. Not sure what that did. Where is your core? You have well hidden your core.
three switches thrown. Hmm. Hey, I'd open that. That's a cargo box. That's an empty thing. Cargo box. Mm, I don't know where this core is, guys. Wonder if there's something I'm missing. I mean, obviously there's something I'm missing, but what that something is, I don't know. Let's see. Go back in here. Probably from the top of this. Probably under here somewhere. Nope, can't uh can't shoot that. blow a hole in here with bombs. Let's see what we get. One, two, three. How much damage did we do? Eh, about half. Okay, let's do it again. Blowing up stuff makes other people happy, even though we haven't physically blown anything up. Alright, do that. Well, well, well. Looky, looky, lucky. Oh, man. There was hidden stuff under here. Uh, yeah, let's do this and then we can put it in here like this keep that on me there's the core there I don't know what I was supposed to do, and I don't know what those levers triggered, but this is shut down. So that should be the last of the Xerax on this planet. Um, let me look at the map real quick. No more Xerax on this planet. They have been officially removed. All right, I'm going to go home. I'm going to get my ship. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to, I think we'll start tearing down all of these POIs and looting them and um, remove them, get the plates, do all of that completely. So that's what we're going to do is just basically spend some time off camera and start salvaging everything and taking it home. So that's what I'm going to do for a bit.